Now your project probably has stuff in it, but this is a blank project. Let's start by going to the package manager. Click on the My Assets. Package manager may take a little bit to load, and it might look different depending on which version of the Unity editor you're in. Search for Projectile Factory. And go ahead and import the main package here. If you do have any of the integrations, they'll also show up in this list because they have Projectile Factory in the name. But we're going to import the main package, which is Projectile Factory Behavior-Based Projectile System. If you've already downloaded this before, you might see an update button. I do update packages as I make improvements, add features, and fix bugs. So if you see this update, you might want to click that to re-download it. Otherwise, you'll see a download button if this is the first time that you've brought this into your project. Once that's downloaded, go ahead and import the package. If this is your first package from us, then all these files will be new and you can go ahead and import all of them. If you've already used Infinity PBR Magic Pig Games content, then you might have some shared files. The Infinity Editor is included in almost every single one of our projects. So it's important to keep in mind that if you see a recycle symbol over here, it means you're going to overwrite that file. In some cases, you might not want to do that. Now, this package is brand new, so it does have the latest version of all the shared scripts. If you ever think you don't have the latest version of the shared scripts, usually that happens when you import a new package and there's random errors that weren't there before, especially with Infinity Editor or one of those similarly named shared scripts. Come to infinitypbr.com, click on the scripting docs, and you can find a link to the support files. And you can click the link right here or you can search for it on the asset store. This is a free package. Basically, whenever I make an update to any of the shared files, I'll always update the support files first so that every user can get the most recent versions. We have a lot of content on the asset store. It takes over a week of uploading just to update all of the content with the share with the support files. So it's really not possible to continue doing updates while also constantly keeping every single package completely in sync. Each individual package will work by itself, but if you ever import an older version, then it will overwrite the newer version and you might end up with some errors. To avoid that, you can always unselect individual files that you don't want to import. To load up the demo scene, expand the folders to find the demos and then the scenes and open the projectile factory demo basic. You might be prompted to import the Text Mesh Pro. Go ahead and click that so you import Text Mesh Pro. Now we can go ahead and press play and the demo scene will work. But if you want the demo to look the way it does in the images and the videos on the asset store, you're going to have to import the post processing as well. To do that, go back to the package manager. And this time, select the Unity registry. Search for post processing and click the install button. Now, often after installing packages, you might see a lot of warnings, which are the yellow symbols here, or errors, which are the red symbols here. A lot of these can be ignored. A general good practice is just to click the clear button, and if they can be cleared out, then they likely are nothing you need to worry about. So while we can see the post process is working, we do need to do a little bit more setup to make sure it's set up properly for this demo. Let's start by adding two layers to your layers menu. The layers pop-up is usually in the top right. It might change depending on which editor you're in. Sometimes the UI elements do change in the different Unity editors. Click the layers pop-up and then edit layers. Expand the layers tab here and you're going to add two. One that is called post processing and the other is called projectile. Let's set up the post processing on the camera first. Select the camera. And let's put there in the post process layer. Then we're going to go down to the post process layer component and add that layer to the layer field here. And now you might want to apply the overrides on the camera just so that you don't accidentally change it later. Now, when you click on the projectiles here, we can see that their layer is going to be something. It might be projectile if you put projectile in layer six, or it's going to be blank or something else. So let's make sure that the projectiles are all in the right layers. Go to the window menu, projectile factory, helpers, set layer of all projectiles. This will open a helper window. Projectile, if you've added it, will already be selected. And then you can choose which layer you want all of the projectiles to be in. 
We want them to be in the layer projectile, so click OK, and all the projectiles will be changed to the correct layer for you. All right, so now the demo scene is working as it does in the demo videos. Now you can hit tab to go through the various projectiles or shift tab to go back, or you can click this button up here to go through all the different projectiles in the demo scene. Each one of these is intended to showcase something you can do with the projectile factory. These are very simple particles. They're not that exciting, but they show all the general logic that you might work with in your game. We have videos on setting up projectile spawners, which is the blue guy here that's spying these projectiles, and for the projectiles themselves. So definitely go check those out if you'd like to learn more about setting those up. You may have noticed that when we collide with one of the targets, the console has very, very bright debug log messages. These are here for a purpose. The demo actor has a projectile demo actor script on it. This is a demo script showing how you might set up your actors to talk with the projectiles in the projectile factory. That's something that's very unique to your project. I don't know what kind of setup you have for all of your data, for all of your, your tracking of your different characters and all that. So this is intended to give you an idea of one way to connect that data together. If you click any of the very bright console logs, you'll come to a method that you might want to dig into to understand how we're passing the data back and forth. That's outside of the scope of this video, but I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Now, let's say you want to try out cooler particles or just have cooler particles in your game. The projectile factory page on the asset store has a link to all of the integrations we currently have. These integrations are all free, but of course you do need to have the particle package that they integrate. This integration works with the sci-fi arsenal by Arcanor VFX. Let's go ahead and import this. If you'd like to follow along, you will have to buy this package. It's a great package as you'll see in a second, but you do need, of course, the third party particles in order to use the integrations for those packages. So go back to the package manager and make sure my assets is selected. Search for sci-fi arsenal, find that in the list. And if you haven't downloaded it, then go ahead and do that and then click the import button. As always, it's a great idea to ensure you know what you're importing. All of this are prefabs and demo scenes and such. We don't actually need the demo scene, so I'm going to not import that or the demo scripts. We won't need any of those. We also don't need the documentation. We do need materials and we don't need this upgrade. So I'm going to unselect those so that we don't import things we just really don't need at all. Keep in mind for some of the integrations, some of the demo scripts are required due to the way the publishers of those packages have set up their particles. Now, still in the package manager, let's go ahead and download and import the projectile factory for sci-fi arsenal by Arcanor VFX. All of the objects here are going to be scriptable objects and prefabs, and sometimes there will be some additional scripts as well as the demo scene. We can import all of these. All right, now let's expand the asset store integrations and we see the Arcanor sci-fi arsenal there. And again, if you see random stuff in the console, clear that out. If there's no more errors after you've cleared it, then you have nothing to worry about. We're gonna open the demo scene here. What did the integration bring for you? The integration has all of these projectiles already set up. The Arcanor ones really have a whole lot of options. So there's a lot of projectiles here already. And in the demo scene, all of these are available. One thing to remember is when you import these, the layer might be in the wrong layer because again, layers are not something that gets shipped with the assets themselves. The layer index is shipped is shipped, but your project might have different names for each layer. So after installing one of the integrations to set these up fully, go back to the window menu, choose projectile factory helpers, set layers of all projectiles and click okay with the projectile layer selected. Now these will have the correct projectile layer and go ahead and press play. There you go. So this has a whole lot of projectiles in it and they look a lot cooler than the ones in my demo scene. I'm really, really jealous that these folks are able to create such really cool particles. I've never quite been able to do that. It's such a skill. There you go. That's the walkthrough of installing the project itself, 
getting the demo scene up and running, installing the integration, and getting that up and running. If you have any questions, come to the Discord, and I hope to see you real, real soon. Thanks.